Moving on from that, we have to talk about this. So this is a fun one to talk about because this guy I actually know for a long time and I've kind of known him kind of from afar and online, mostly through forums. So this is um, a collection I'm kind of loading up here, courtesy of Stray Rats. It's dropped one of their Spring Summer 2023 collection. And the guy behind it, Julian, I kind of know him from forums, from posting on these, you know, fashion forums back in the day where you post your outfits, where you'd post what you're buying and stuff, where you get ridiculed if you didn't know certain pieces, like you didn't know some bits of information, like whether or not some, the TVs on the, it, no, whether or not the, the store that had the TVs in the flipping window was supreme you didn't know you just said oh the store with the tvs on it and you get ridiculed and stuff or you know you didn't know what date a particular item came out it was really nerdy crazy stuff but it was funny to look back on because i remember those times a lot of those guys that would kind of like you know try and e-bully you on the internet which is so r-worded because none of that stuff ever impacts real life really but you think about it some of these guys that were warring with back in the day um, and stuff were grown men back then because i must have been like i must have been probably like 17 18 or maybe even 19 but you're arguing with these grown adults these grown men who have kind of traveled and been around the world and been into the things before you because they're basically older and they'll be arguing with you and debating you about the merits of a certain brand and why not is why this is good why this is not good and it's just kind of funny just to kind of look back on it and kind of think about but it's also funny to see because julian was obviously a big part of it back in the day and then he went on to start stray, stray rats and now he's kind of you know um, one of flipping Tyler Creator's best friends. Obviously, does other things as well and um, projects outside of it. I'm sure of it, but it's quite cool to see how he's built Stray Rats into building into being a legit brand. And it kind of feels like maybe this is not fair to say because I know they've done the collaboration, but it feels like maybe Mark Jacobs with Heaven kind of got his inspiration from what um, Stray Rats is basically doing. This kind of nostalgia drenched um, brand that kind of you know cares about graphics cares about colors um it's just really kind of unique in terms of its ability to sort of like synthesize a moment in time maybe like you know late 80s early 90s early parts of 2000s that particular kind of chunk in time where graphic design was the best where product shots were amazing where lookbooks were king like you just kind of be able to kind of funnel it all through one collection and it's great and i feel like you know the guys that know know that stray rats probably have some of the best t-shirts some of the best snapback hat designs and also some of the best kind of like you know cr you know um accessories here and there like belts beanies clips and whatnot i really love what they do so big up um stray rats for putting together a good collection but it's just cool to see like somebody that i kind of knew you know back in the day basically making a really legit brand that's doing great things um which is amazing because i remember you know trying to order straight rats from the guy directly and trying to send him money via paypal and now he's got a legit store that's you know a legit store sorry online he's selling it to map to rat to stores all around the world he's shipping internationally and it's a legit business where he probably employs a bunch of people also but i'm going to check through the collection now to see what they've got here but it's all looking pretty, pretty decent. You've got a really cool t-shirt here. Um, it says Stray Rats Hardcore. I like the beanie, which kind of reminds me of like the um, stash subwear sort of like font in terms of what they're using also there. Let's continue to the next picture here. Uh, come on, load up, brother. I should, maybe just make it back to small. Let's just put it back to small because this is taking ages to load. Then you've got a really cool picture here as well, love. Um, with a features a graphic with a person with some straight relaxed hair over the eye kind of reminds me of what Louis Osivert is going for in terms of his look I really do like that it comes in red and the blue then you've got a really nice hoodie here zip up hoodie with again the logo in that great um, you know that great kind of old school graffiti type of style um, you've got another one also with a what looks like a children's illustration that says wicked twisted stray rats i really like that they've also got great sweatpants also but i think that comes from you know julian being a bit of a hardcore kid a lot of those hardcore bands have really cool sweatpants and hoodies and whatnot so he's always does really cool like suits i think in my opinion they're a little bit more interesting than the others and obviously rat girl as well i like as well because it kind of reminds me of x girl from before so it looks really cool you got a nice T-shirt here also with a kind of bitmap image of the of, of the rat. You've got this really nice contrasting hoodie with the different colors on it as well. I love this. Oh, that look again. What I said before about the flipping um, hats being the best. I've got one of the best hat designs. I love this sort of like pinwheel 
design with the yellow, with the sorry, with the white and the purple. And again, you know, I really like the shape because usually straight rats have a high brim um, on the shape, which means people like me with massive heads can fit into them because usually a lot of the trendy hipster hats have a really small brim. So they only fit guys who like to wear their hats on the top of their head like that. But I like to kind of wear my hat, you know, kind of like a bit of an admiral. So it's nice to have brands that kind of create that. So it's cool to see that also. You have this nice chest design piece there also. The Wicked Stray Rats hat here is a nice feature. I like that. That t-shirt again with the emoji. I love this as well. Sorry, with the graphic bit metal kind of style. That graffiti hoodie zip up is really awesome. I love all this. The t-shirts are really nice. The graphics are really strong on this. Again, a nice contrasting kind of color block hoodie is cool. I love that pullover hoodie. That's giving a lot of kind of um old school IB3 type of stuff. I like this. And it kind of ties in a lot to the kind of Y2K trend at the moment. I know. But Stray Rats has been doing this before Y2K became cool. To be fair to him, he's been doing this for a long, long time. So it's just kind of coincidence now that everyone's trying to look like this. But he's been doing this sort of look in for a long time himself. So big up what he's doing over there, Stray Rats. But again, the t-shirts look great. I love the flipping beanies, which probably won't fit my head, unfortunately, because I've got a big one and my hair's massive. I love this jumper pushing the limits of standard chaos with Stray Rats printed on top um yeah but all of it looks absolutely amazing love it love it love it um the first drop is going to be available for march 21st available it's available now if you want to purchase it go and check it out let's actually check out the site and see how much of it is sold out i bet quite a bit of it let's double check here this is the main um site of course you can see the preview here let's click shop and see how much of it they've been able to shift i'd imagine quite a few bits and bobs yeah look see it's already stuff sold out whoa yeah that that kind of um what, what would you call that shirt um that kind of libertine sort of shirt with the guy on top is already sold out you've got the other one the black and white one that one's also sold out here what well, another favorite here they got sold out that hoodie is really nice i love that logo i'd probably wear that and that beanie oh okay the beanie's gone the beanie with the graffiti print is gone interesting that they that that's the one that's kind of sold but it makes sense as well because it kind of looks like that arterix hat everyone's wearing at the moment all the kids on tiktok are wearing this sort of arterix hat with the same sort of design this kind of like um this beanie that essentially doesn't really roll up that much i like mine to look at banner clavers to kind of cover how big my flipping hair is but um what you call it oh what's you just saying how much are the crop tops the crop tops where is it? i don't know the crop tops here oh this is the one yeah the crop tops are sold out but when they were available how much were they when the rack wrangling they were 40 dollars. not bad see it's all that's the thing with with stray rats it's priced really well it's not priced like you know other streetwear brands it's, you know you could easily charge a hundred dollars for this but it's 40 dollars, which is pretty decent i feel like so big up stray rats for keeping the prices nice and clean for the man them and the gal them we love to see it big up him um but yeah my my kind of picks off of this would definitely be some of these kind of paneling hoodies um, this pullover hoodie here with this kind of what I'd kind of call like a hippie um, I beef a sort of style graf um, graphic on it. This contrasting pinwheel type of hat is also great. The kid um, illustration hat is also awesome. Um, the sweatpants are great. And of course, some of the T-shirts as well. I'm a big fan of as well. So, yeah, big up Stray Rats. Love what they do. Um, can't wait to see them continue, continue to grow again and again. They did great New Balance collaboration. Hopefully they do more New Balance collaborations coming up in the future. But yeah, definitely um, somebody that I'm a big fan of in terms of what they're putting out there. So big up them. Big up them.